I thought I'd do a, a quick couple of videos on on the rapture. The question in, in many minds is, is it real? So what is the rapture? The rapture is a story about the church being taken up into the clouds with Jesus before the tribulation occurs. Uh, the whole idea is that uh, Christians will uh, bypass the tribulation. We won't have to to deal with all the nastiness that's coming down the pipe, uh, as we see described in the Book of Revelation. It's it's a story based on two verses in the Bible, in the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter four, verses sixteen and seventeen. It says, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. This is a story. Um, as you can see in the picture on the right, uh, some people, the most common representation of the rapture is that it happens at the be you know, right before the tribulation so that the church bypasses the tribulation. There's also a mid-tribulation version where um, in the tribulation there are the seals, the seven seals, and the seven trumpets. This is, goes in between the seals and the trumpets. This story was started in the 1800s by a guy named John Darby. Does it mean he, it was wrong? Well, it's relatively recent in terms of Bible stories, but that, again, doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong. It's, it's a different interpretation, perhaps. Um, certainly, it is not mentioned in the Bible explicitly. As an example, you cannot find the word rapture in the Bible. Um, those who believe in the rapture say, well, there are a lot of things that, that aren't explicitly described in the Bible, like airplanes and, and other things like that. But the point is that, that um, you're only looking at two verses and there's not a lot you can put in there. However, a whole story has come about because of it. If you look at the uh, synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Uh, below the red line there, you can see I've added in to the Revelation timeline uh, the, uh, the chapters in those individual books that have to do with Jesus answering the questions about the end times. You can see that they are all quite consistent, and they all seem to mesh very well with the Revelation timeline. Rapture has its own Wikipedia page. You can do some more research at your leisure um, if it's something that interests you. There are also many online articles uh, from religious organizations and others uh, that, that uh, tend to discuss it, positive and negative. What is the issue? I personally believe there are many issues, and I get into those in the in the second part. But what I suggest is that if you believe in the rapture and you don't want any other biblical support or rebuttal, don't watch part two. That's why I've split it up into two pieces. Feel free to come back when you are more confident or, or if you want some more information um, and you want to hear the other side. If your belief in the rapture cannot abide challenge, in other words, it's the only thing getting you through the day, again, don't watch part two at this point in time. When you're feeling stronger, I welcome you back and hope that the second part will help open your eyes. What concerns me the most is that people, good people, are getting the mark of the beast because they feel they will be raptured and won't have to deal with any of the consequences of the tribulation and the rest of the events described in the book of Revelation. 
though we know Satan is the great deceiver. It won't happen to me because I'll be raptured before the tribulation starts, so I don't have to pay attention to what's going on in the world. That's just wrong. Jesus tells us we have to watch. We have to pay attention. And the rapture um, does not take away from that. Either way, whether you believe it or not, I want to bless you. I pray and I say, go in love, for love alone endures. Go in peace, for it is the gift of God to those whose hearts and minds are set on him. Go in safety, for you cannot go where God is not. Go with God. Thank you.